It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are inside of the very spacious Lucas Oil Stadium in downtown Indianapolis. Just as we were ready for air, it was the Colts emerging from the locker room to great fanfare here in Indy. They're ready to go as the Colts get set to match up with the Buffalo Bills. And the punter, Rigoberto Sanchez, ready to go, and we are underway from Lucas Oil Stadium. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. not the start that he was looking for as he's going to be met and dropped behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. one to Singletary and he'll push forward for about four up to the 23 on a second and long it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation I think that goes back to their practice and game planning they've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long distance situation they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down flush to his right and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. In on the sack, the former big guy, Tyquan Lewis. On fourth down, Matt Hawk to punt it away. Back deep for the Colts, Naheem Hines. That'll go as a punt of 32 yards. And the Colts are set up well as they take over first and 10 on the short side of the field. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll run. This is Jonathan Taylor. And bulldozing his way through. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor, 38 yards. And the Colts are going to take a first quarter lead. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Sanchez now. He'll kick it away following the touchdown. Returning it, Isaiah McKenzie. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. come to the line to start their next drive and a three and out on that first drive we'll see if they can do better here they should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now that first series everybody goes out a little extra emotion so now they get a chance to go back out and say okay now we're into the game let's go play and play as best we can you almost get a mulligan then on that first drive sometimes it absolutely serves that way you get a second opportunity nothing big happened but then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. From the 36, Allen. 
Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, try to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. In this case, he picks up the first down. First down, Allen. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Had to get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Quinny Payne. What persistence, and that persistence pays off. Tracks him down for a 19-yard loss. And so after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. From the gun, it's Allen. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Knox. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts' 45-yard line. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. They'll run on first down. Singletary. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Allen's throw here, take it in by Knox. Now third down is looming, a pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. And he'll get about five here, so he'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Second and five now. Allen, he's going to be sacked. Back at the 23-yard line. Grover Stewart able to drop him for a loss of four from his defensive tackle spot. They're two for two on third down conversions on this drive. This one tough. They need nine yards on third down. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. And a tough ask here. They're going to go for it on fourth down and nine. Now Allen. Steps away to his left. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. 
From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. the handoff it's Singletary and a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the eight yard line but if you're a football guy that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there obviously the guy carrying the ball but how about the people up front leverage athleticism they created some nice space for him following the pickup of four here's second and six On the give, this is Singletary. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. are an extra point away from tying the football game. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And we are tied here in the second quarter. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And Rodgers will hold on to this one, and it'll come out to the 25. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Wentz going to give this to Taylor. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Coming up on a second and six. Now wins. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. It'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And it'll be third and ten. from the gun, Wentz. He's got his target, that's Zach Pascal. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. First and 10, Taylor now. He takes it down to the 42, a five-yard run. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Here we go. 
A reminder coming up in a couple of minutes' time. We'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman, the coach in our EA Sports studios. They'll have a look back at the next-gen stats from this first half of action. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 14. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. On the handoff, Taylor. And he'll find his way down right around the 12. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. To throw is Wentz. He finds his man complete. It's Doyle. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. They'll look to run with Taylor. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Jack Doyle in the final seconds of the first half. And the Colts have taken the lead. Extra point by Blake. His ship is up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. So just eight ticks remaining here in the first half as they'll kick this one away. Isaiah McKenzie now on the return. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And you wonder if with Allen's arm, they might just take their chances by dialing up a long one. Being chased out left. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. And incomplete on the deep ball. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Second half, ready to get underway. The Colts with a lead, and they will receive the football. Rodgers going to return it from his end zone. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. And he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. 
And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. The last run got six, now second and four. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts, being able to diagnose run or pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. Slips up past the 45 before being tackled. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Second and ten. Now Wentz hits his target to tight end Mo Alley Cox. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Shotgun now for Wentz. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 48. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. Short throw pick six right there. Those linebackers, they love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that will tie our game here in the third. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. Rodgers going to return it from his end zone. Offense at the line and set to go. Now Wentz to try again after the pick six. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Taylor. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. A good gain on first has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Now a handoff, Taylor with it, and he'll be brought down right around the 37. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Wentz. 
And this will be swung out wide for Taylor. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 47. Now wins. Escaping the pressure right. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The last drive, remember, similar situation. He forced a ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. On first down, Taylor. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the yard. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 81 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Wentz will give to Taylor on the draw. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. It's a 6-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it 2nd and 4. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. 6 yards on that last play. Here's 2nd and 4. This is Taylor. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Colts have broken our tie as they take the lead. Now Blankenship on for the PAT. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. McKenzie will not return this and will be brought out to the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Allen now looks to throw. Forced out to, and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. That winds up pushing it back 11 yards on the sack, and that'll bring up third. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. To the air, Allen. And that would not to be, it's incomplete. 
So they couldn't hook up. His time has now run out on this third quarter of play. Back now in Indianapolis. The Bills have the football, but they trail here as we begin quarter number four. Here's Matt Hawk now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Hines now on the return. Nearly a huge return as it is. Still a very good one. 24 yards. And the Colts will go on offense here. First and 10. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. They'll run with Tamar to begin the drive. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. It'll go down as a gain of six. And they're going to face a third down. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. The Colts on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and four. To throw, it's Wentz. Out to the right and complete to Pittman. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll bring up fourth down. fourth down sneaks to have a quarterback as tall as he is. Yeah, you're talking about being able to extend at the end and make sure the ball gets to the first down marker, but also he has to be able to drop his hips and get down behind that offensive line in order to move forward because if he just runs it straight up and down, you and I both know that they'll snap him backwards. Well done there, well executed. He's He's checking They'll run on first down. It's Taylor. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. That gives him 98 yards in this game, and he's got to feel pretty good about that, but the entire offense does. The big thing, though, Brent, they've got to get to 100, though. You think he knows he's at 98? I think someone has told him by now, and here's the thing. Getting to 100 or more is tangible evidence that you've had a nice day running the football, and that's what his offensive line wants for him and for themselves. He throws there incomplete. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game. Instead, they're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. Throwing his wins. Rolling to his right. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Well, that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. And that one hurts a bit. That was a golden opportunity to possibly put this one on ice, but he comes up empty. And how big of a miss might that turn out to be? Stay tuned. There's still time left on the clock. This could be critical. Still a one-score game. Had he hit that, it would have been two scores. 
Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And meanwhile, Allen's throw taken in by Diggs. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Allen's throw caught by Sanders. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. And this hasn't been the typical game, no doubt, for Emmanuel Sanders. They've really limited him. He's one of those players that provides a real spark when he gets going. And when he does it, it's felt by the rest of the team, and they're feeling it in this one because right now they're trailing. Yeah, he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Bills football here as we get you reset. They face a critical third down now, needing a score here in the late going. To throw, it's Allen. This is brought in by the tight end, Tommy Sweeney. And he is going to have a Bills first down, and he's going to have it by plenty, able to get eight yards there on third and two. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Allen. They'll roll him out right. High throw, but he makes the catch. And he is out of bounds right around the ten-yard line. Working the sideline there. Good route, good catch. First down, and he gets out of bounds. Yeah, you have to like the play calling because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. And he's going to battle his way down right around the two-yard line. A good run. Eight yards there, and it'll be second and goal. They'll look to run with Moss. And he is not going to get in as the big bodies stop him at the one. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. A lot of tired bodies on that field. But this is a big play. Third and goal. Allen now on the sneak. And yeah, boy, a good surge defensively. It'll depend on the mark, but I'm not sure he got there. Only a yard on the sneak, not enough. And he's a few inches short for fourth down. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. Allen taking it himself, fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And I believe the Colts have recovered. Yes, they have. And they were hoping to get down there, get the score, and get this thing into overtime. How deflating. Absolutely. I mean, let's face it, heartbreaking. They had an opportunity, had a chance. And probably were feeling pretty good about what was going on. And that was taken away from them by their own mistake. Yeah, the opportunity squashed. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And three timeouts remaining here defensively. But really, not much reason to use them at this point as this one is all but over. If they use the timeouts here, it's strictly for show. We got a plane to catch. 
that first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room that if you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, he didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They run once more with Taylor. And that won't buy him much room. Just a one-yard gain to the five. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. the prospect of a punt from their own end zone. They need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. Now a give to Taylor. And they're going to get the first down here as he's up to the 14. 108 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. So this one winds up an Indianapolis victory. And they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game. And they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch.